Hi guys, I just want to add a little bit of history in regards to the Act of 1871 and what it means uh, to, uh, to us, our country, and uh, our freedoms. And uh, I also wanted to add this too because it's into my investigation and my study in uh, biblical prophecy with Ephraim or Great Britain and that includes uh, America and, um, and the entire world basically. Okay, I'll get into it. Um, it's six pages, so um, this is a PDF. Uh, I'll just read the the most important parts, but, uh, but I'll leave the link to this so you all can read the entire thing. Um, 1871, uh, Fe uh, February the 21st, Congress passed an act to provide a government for the District of Columbia known as the Act of 1871. Uh, with no uh, constitutional authority to do so, Congress created a separate form of government for the District uh, of Columbia, which is a 10 mile square, square parcel of land. Now the Act passed was when the country was weak and financially depleted uh, after the Civil War and it was a strategic move by foreign interests which was the international bankers who were ha, or the, had the intent of gaining a strong hold on the coffers and the neck of America. Now does that sound familiar today? A Congress cut a deal with the international bankers who are, you've heard the name, the Rothschilds of London okay to incur a debt on said bankers because the bankers were not about to lend money to a floundering nation without serious stipulations they devised a way to get their foot in the door of the united states okay now the act of 1871 formed a corporation called the united states the corporation owned by foreign interests moved in and shoved the original Constitution into the dustbin. With the Act of 1871, the organic uh, Constitution was defaced and vandalized and sabotaged. With the title, with the capitalized and the word for, was changed to of in the title. The Constitution of the United States of America is the Constitution of the Incorporated United States of America. It operates in an economic capacity and has been used to fool the people into thinking it is. It governs the republic. It does not. Capitalization is not uh, insignificant when one is referring to a legal document. This seemingly minor alter er, alteration has had a major impact on every subsequent generation of Americans and it, it is um, affecting us today and uh, that's all thanks to the international bankers the Rothschilds what Congress did by passing the act of 1871 uh, 71, was created an entirely new document a constitution for the government of uh, the District of Columbia and incorporated government this newly altered constitution was not intended to benefit the republic. It benefits only the corporation of the United States of America and operates entirely outside the original organic constitution. Instead of having absolute and unable rights guaranteed under the organic constitution, we the people now have relative rights or privileges okay when they say so one example is the sovereign right to travel which is now being transformed into a privilege that requires citizens to be licensed like passports and such okay um, so this is going on today and it's that's why they um, are instituting the laws, passing the laws that they are 
because they think they have a right to because of the Act of 1871. The uh, Congress commit, uh, committed treason against the people who were sovereign under the grants and decrees of the De Declaration of Independence and the Organic um, Constitution, which was from the original Constitution of 1776. And uh, we've been usurped again uh, because of it. Uh, we are basically owned by the Rothschilds of London. Yep, Great Britain owns America. So we got a long way uh, to fight for our freedoms, guys. If you want your freedom, you value your freedom. Um, trust. What I can suggest is trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is true freedom. Um, we um, we are free from the the dictates of this world. Um, that's why when we become um, Christian believers in Christ, uh, we become a new creature, and we do not conform to this world. So that means whatever this evil government dictates to us. It's not valid to uh, Christian believers in Christ. Uh, that's my thought, anyway. Okay, the United States is not a country. It's a corporation, guys. And in, pre in pre preparation for stealing America, the puppets of Britain's banking cabal have already created a second government, a shadow government, designed to manage what the common herd believes was a democracy it wasn't a democracy our country is not a democracy it is a republic or was a republic it's a republic and we want our republic back but it really was uh, an incorporated United States this is a two-headed monster and it disallows the common herd all rights of us our sovereignty. Our Lord God is sovereign. And this we uh, stand, or I stand by. A Congress with no authority to do so created a separate form of government for the uh, District of Columbia, which is the 10 miles square of land. Um, so why and how did they do so? Okay, and uh, the, this was during the Civil War that little more than a calculator front was with fancy footwork had uh, backroom players in it. And that was regards to the strategic maneuver by the British and European interests, which are the international bankers, intent on gaining a stranglehold on the coffers of America because he had been weakened by the Civil War which was the which we were believed that um, it was due to the slavery um, problem well there's still been a save a slavery problem we've never ever actually that was a front you know everything was a front that started I can't remember how, but it was it was started. Um, well, actually, by the um, I think the, the, the bankers started that one too, though the Civil War. But I need to to look in that um, further also. Um, but it didn't have anything to do with slavery at all. Sorry to make some of you guys mad, but it's it's the truth, really. Um, because Congress knew that our country was in dire straits, financial straits because of it. And, and they were trying to bring in this world government even then. So, see, they were even working on it even then. Most of the guys that were in the government at that time were Freemasons. And, yep, they've always been in our history, guys. Uh... So they weren't, they're not all, they weren't all Christian at all. Um, so, you, uh, I mean, if you want to look into this further, 
you know, uh, who was behind it all and all this, you can really dig up a lot. And if you're interested in the Civil War, how it got started and all the truth about it, you do your own research on that. Um, the Congress uh, knew that our country was in dire state. So now I've read that whole race. Excuse me for repeating. Uh, but the Rothschilds of London were dipping their fingers into everyone's pie. And there you have why uh, members of Congress permitted the international bankers to gain further control of America. And then by passing the Act of 1871, Congress formed a corporation known as the United States. To fully understand how our rights of sovereignty were ended, you must know that the full meaning of sovereignty or sovereign, uh, the chief or highest uh, supreme power of superior in position to all others, independent of or unlimited by others, possessing or entitled to original and independent authority or jurisdiction. That's what uh, the Webster Dictionary uh, definition is. In short, our government, which was created by and for us as sovereigns, free citizens deemed to have the highest authority, was stolen from us along with our rights. And uh, keep in mind that according to the orig original constitution, only we, the people, are sovereign. Govern is, the government is not sovereign. Okay, it was for the people, by the people. And the Declaration of Independence said so. And the government is subject to the consent of the governed. That is us, the sovereigns. And what uh, did you uh, last be, feel like a sovereign? Um, that's what I always believed. I always believed that, you know, we were free. That, I mean, we... Uh, we got away from speaking up, uh, speaking up for our rights, and we need to take that back again um, from the evil government, whether it is here or abroad. It doesn't take a uh, rocket scientist or a, a constitutional uh, historian to figure out that the United States government has not been subject to a consent of government since long before you and I were born. Rather than the governor are subject to the whim and greed of the corporation. And that's why they get away with a, a lot of false flag events going on. Just like I hear lately too. Yeah, because we're all a corporation. Um, they say, well, we can get away with anything because, yeah, we're all a corporation. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I'll just leave the rest to you guys because um, I only have 15 minutes. And this is very interesting reading here. Uh, yeah. It just makes you feel like, huh. Things to make you go, um, as they say here, remember that. Like I said before, at the beginning or somewhere in my conversation, that um, you know Jesus Christ is my King and my Lord, and Him will I answer to, and only will I answer to Him. Not a satanic government, and not anyone that controls this government here will I answer to, because they're wanting to take our freedoms away and to make us all slaves. And, and that's what this country was supposed to be uh, created to be. Uh, freedom from oppression. That's why we got away or tried to get away from England in the first place. Well, I'm talking about our ancestors. And I'm getting at the end of this video. So um, I'll say, say take care of you guys until next time. Um, I, I feel that this is going to be a value later on in the next video. So, I'll end it here. Jesus loves you guys. So do I. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye-bye.